So hey, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to read and write files in Java. So it's going to be a very simple program. So let's get started. So currently, I have a empty Java file over here, and I'm simple. I have an empty class and a function. So first, I will show you how to write, and then I will show you how to read. For writing, we are we will be using file writer. Okay. So it's present in the Java that I O package. So let's import it first. So it's going to be import Java dot I O dot and the package name. So its package name is file writer. Okay, it's file writer. So I guess you, as you can see here, file writer. So once you have imported, it's just basically the class and object formula over here. So just go and write file writer class name class and object. I will write write obj is going to be the name of my object equal to new file writer. I start to write. As you can see, uh, file writer. And here you will be passing the name of the file. So I am just going to create a new name file. Okay. So just go to the folder, and I will just create a new text file over here. So text document. So I will name it as new trial. Okay. Name of that is some okay, different new trial. So that's going to be the name of my text document. Where is it? I think it's gone down. So new trail. So as you can see here, it's basically empty. So now I will close it, minimize it, and put it put the name pass the name here. So you can also keep your file. Uh, you can also create a folder text file anywhere, but you need to name place the full path. Okay. So it's always better to keep your uh, program and your file in the same folder. So new trail dot txt include the extension. Okay. So next thing, using the object, we are just going to Input text, okay. So pass the object dot. So these many functions are available for uh, writing. For not so how to say for manipulating a file by using an object. So we are not going to use all this. We are going to use only write, and it's it takes in a string, okay, str. But we are going to directly pass the string. So I'm going to type Java is easy. And next thing is the basic stuff. Close it. Close the file. Dot close. So I think we are good. Now if I run this code, so we are getting an exception. So this is because Java expects us to give an exception. Okay, use a it expects us to use a try and clash block over here. So in case if you haven't given the proper file name or if you have made any mistake, it will if it's, it's if the file returns to null. Java will throw an exception, and the user must be in a position to handle that exception. So that's what Java is expecting us to do. So for that, we will we will also put this code inside tree class block. So Java dot io dot. So it's going to be io exception. So io exception import that and use a tree block tree catch over here. So tree catch is basically like an if else statement. So you put the condition inside the tree block, and the else if the exception happen happens. It will be caught by the catch block, and the code uh, inside the catch will be executed. So I don't want to give anything over here. So I will save it. And now if I run, I won't get any unhandled exception. So yes, I am not getting any exception. So if I now just go into the new trial txt, so new trial. So I am getting the code Java is easy. So that's it. We have successfully written. We have successfully written the code. To how to write uh, in, in this inside a file. So now I will show you how to read data, read text from a file. So I will do that in the same program. So I will just delete all these things, and I will delete this. I think I/O exception is needed for that also. Okay, I will type. So for that we are going to use file reader. Okay, so it's file writer. So file reader. So it's basically you can get the meaning from the name itself. Okay, so after after uh, importing file data from, it's also present in the same Java that I O I O package, and create a class and its object. So file reader read f I will name it as read f equal to new file reader, and here I'm going to pass the name of my file. It's new trial. I think so. The name of my text document is so it's new trial new trial dot txt and Once you have created an object of the file, we we are going to use a while loop. We are going to read each and each 
what to say each and each character from the file until it points to null so until it's going to be reach the end of the file it will read by character by character and we are going to just display it so that's the basic thing that we will do so we need an integer okay in i and we are also going to need a while loop so while loop okay so for i open another bracket so i equal to read f that's an object dot read so this read card read method is basically use using our object read f and is reading each and every character so it reads one character it goes uh, it prints it and while loop is currently iterating it so it goes to next character reads it prints it reads it prints it, and this happens until the end of the file so it's not equal to minus one this is because when this uh, read function comes to the last character of the file after that it will return minus one if it points to null so uh, at the end of the file the, our file is going to point to null and it will return minus one so when it's minus one our loop is going to terminate so that's the formula over here and we are just going to print the print it okay system dot out dot print and just going to no. So just going to print i so if you do directly print i it's an integer but we have character in it okay so just you know we're going to typecast it into our char okay so i think that's really good so uh, outside the while loop just close our file so read f dot close i think that's good now we same i'm saving it if i run this code and again it's showing Oh, okay so this time we are getting two exceptions over here file not found exception and io exception so i will tell you the best way how to handle these exceptions instead of importing all these exceptions and writing it reading and uh, using try and class directly you can put throws throws exception okay uh, by using this you are trying to java to throw that if in case my program will give any exception you are you must be having handled on your own it's like just we are also giving a warning instead of doing the try catch block and doing so much of work i think this is the best way to yes as you can see here i'm getting the code java is cc so that's what is also present in this one new trial so now if i just change this change the text to over here i am ch changing it only to java and saving it and if i am run this code again we will get java so as you can see here we have successfully read and write files uh, wrote files from in file in java so that's it thanks for watching and my name is a programming channel and do subscribe and support my other videos especially my channel